Good evening and welcome to Channel Reports. A Polish man accused of killing six people in Jersey last year, including his wife and two children, is pleading not guilty to murder. Good evening and welcome to Channel Television's special election programme. Tonight, Guernsey has decided and in just a few hours' time, the face of the island's government will change forever. Ah, oh, yes, election year, interesting times. Thank you very much for now, Rob. Now, Jersey's Millennium Town Park cost more than £10 million and was 13 years in the making. But now, more than three months after it was officially opened, it's still not finished and there's a funding crisis. Well, police are still waiting to interview Damien Zhezhovska on suspicion of murdering his family and friends. Today, forensic officers have continued to trawl the scene behind me here for clues to the tragedy. You might be able to make out the white tarpaulin tent in the distance covering the area where the incident spilled out onto the street. And Jess, uh, just bring us up to date with events in court today. Well, today it was the UK's turn and their barristers argued that under EU law, they could get rid of low-value consignment relief if there was tax abuse or market distortion. And they say in the Channel Islands case, both things are happening. This comment is, is, is simply just uh, multiplied their pain and I'm, I'm sorry. I have to press you on this though. You haven't apologised to Senator Sivray. I've, I've apologised to all states members. What about him individually? You... Senator Sivray is a member of the states. But, but individually, on a one-to-one -one basis, no, you I said it to him. No, no. Do you intend to? Yes, I'm quite happy to. Would you be happy to take a pay cut? From the fashion retailer to the cafe owner, the hairdressers to the mechanics workshop. All these businesses help to create the 27,000 jobs in the private sector, which makes up a whopping 83% of the Guernsey workforce. In fact, private enterprise is the real driver of the economy, generating £1.6 billion a year in wages and profits. So what businesses think of the way politicians run the island matters. Gentlemen, welcome to this second meeting of the ITV Business Club. As we all know, election day is looming, a chance for a new house with new policies. So what issues do you want to see tackled over the next four years? Well, still with that health report, a number of you have been posting your comments on our website. Danny says, perhaps if the island wasn't such a stressful place to live, people would not need so much alcohol. Next tonight, he's the Channel Islander who's about to become an Olympian. Guernsey's Lee Merrion is now preparing to run the marathon at London 2012. He's back on home soil and is taking a short break from training to speak to us tonight. Lee Merrion joins me now live from our Guernsey studio. And Lee, before we talk about your chances in the Olympics, let's just get your reaction to the thousands of supporters who campaigned to get you into Team GB. Now, as well as being cute, we all know that babies can be costly and disposable nappies form a large part of that. The average baby like Abby here will go through 5,000 disposable nappies in her lifetime and that costs a parent about £1,000. But switching to washables can cut that cost in half. <laughs> well, after all that excitement, this was the float that bagged the top prize. It's called Shen Lung, which in Chinese means sacred dragon. You can see why. It was built by the parish of St. Clement, but it's caused some controversy. I'll show you why. If you look up there, you can see it hasn't been finished. You can still see the wood, the pencil marks, and it has not been covered in flowers. Well, joining me now is the designer, Marcus Davies. And Marcus, why didn't you finish it? Blondes or brunettes? I think I've had my fair share of blondes. I'm going to go brunette, <laughs> I think. Should I be insulted? I don't you know. You are brunette, though. Oh, I am. That's true. She's Naturally. brunette. <laughs> you can tell because the rootage. Oh, 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 no. If we do win any of those nine prizes, you might not see us. We might jet off to the Bahamas. But if we don't win, we'll be sad. But we will see you for Channel Report on Monday night at six o'clock. But for now, we're going to enjoy the party, aren't we, Mark? Absolutely. So it's good night from the two of us. Good night. Bye-bye.